Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Zompiercer, and uh, before we get to the game, you know, it's it's updated a few times, there's some more weaponry, but I want to show you something here real quick, so you know how we played it, we played like 11 parts, so I'm going to load my game in, I want y'all to see something real quick, yep, this is it right here, the bug. So apparently I'm on the train, but since it's updated, every time I come in, I just kind of fall through the world. Isn't that funny? Kind of look at it, kind of see the map. And I think we are in an infinite drop here. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of show that before we get into it. But I'm probably going to make some cuts here. My plan in, in this video is to find the new weaponry and show them off. I think there's like two more, there's body armor as well. And we're gonna see how that pretty much works out here. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut it here and then when I come back we should have more things in while wow, they have cars on fire now. Anyways, I'll see y'all here in a minute. All right, everyone, back again. So, I just got the pistol and I took the road opposite of the, the town where the train is. You come all the way down the road, you meet this cabin, and inside, there's a zombie. But more importantly, we find the body armor. So let's just kind of look at it here. Negative 10% of damage. Equip it, looks like we have like a football thing on with some like metal attached. But I just wanted to come back here and show you all that progression. Other than that, everything's still the same, you know, the, uh, when you pick up the pistol, the fireworks go off and whatnot. But that, since that's been found, we are only missing, uh, I believe, two weapons, and, uh, I'll come back when we find them as well. So let's get rid of him, though, before we leave here. Uh, asshole. Anyways, I'll see y'all again when we find something new here. Isn't that a lovely view there of the nice lake? Welcome back guys. I uh, wanted to bring us here because there is something interesting. Uh, last time we played the game a couple days ago, if not weeks, the double barrel shotgun was over there. So I kind of went over there, you know, low on pistol ammunition as you can see, and I got, you know, in trouble with the police officer. Get into the house, no shotgun. Because they moved it. And now it's over here. So I just wanted to cut this in, show y'all that they have also moved the double barrel from its location in the update. So if you're playing the game and you do not know what happened to the shotgun, now you do. And yeah, let's uh, you know, get a nice little kill in. Apparently somebody's pissed off that we have it. I must say I think I missed the guy over here. Do a nice little headshot in here. <laughs> that apparently he took no issue but yeah and uh i'll be right back i think you know i'm here i'm probably gonna show y'all a little uh trick to make it easier to get the um your train field up without having to worry about the hordes of zombies if you're having trouble with that so i'll make another cut here and then i'll be back when we're either doing that or i find another gun one or the other Alrighty guys, back again, and before we go, I want to kind of show y'all a little trick. So, first things first, if you've been having trouble fueling up your train, you're fighting all these zombies, get your nozzle, put it into the refuel thing, put it as activated, so it's pretty much ready to go. And before you do anything, go back on your train. This is real simple, like real easy. If you haven't thought of this, then this can save y'all. But just open up these doors on the side. Make sure you have a, a chance, a way to get back on here. And then what you're gonna do is simply uh, start everything up. Pretty much draw out all the zombies. Also just kind of run in here. Open up the door. No gun in there, unfortunately. And just kind of hit the power switch, causing the alarms to go off, everyone to get pissed off. And what you want to do is going to want to run all the way upstairs. 
and uh, get a drink of water because you're super low at 1%. But anyways, get out here. I said just kind of check, chill. Watch the zombies. They're all kind of flowing in. But the key is to come over here and kind of work this and just drop down. And come over here. Enter here. Come all the way to the front. And it should, if everything's right, you pretty much already got it pumped, activated, and whatnot. Should be fueling up your, uh, your train. And the best part about it is, is you do not have to go out there to um, undo it. You can just drive off, and it, it won't you won't die, you won't crash, nothing like that. So I just wanted to really, you know, since we were here, kind of want to stop and show y'all that we can do that, and it really, you know, can keep you alive if you're having trouble with that horde that's swarming in there. But anyways, when we uh, when you see me again, we should be in the next town, and hopefully we've found a new gun. Welcome back everyone. So we're probably in hour one or two here. It's been a while. I had to work all my way back and uh, you know we're going to end off by finding the last two weaponry thanks to a viewer by Blue Flame. He's told me that the weapon is possibly chilling on the second floor in this building. So let's go try to find that apparently it's by like a TV or something like that so we're gonna look for it hopefully we can find it kill this zombie I'll say while well, the game has some little Ooh, yep that does not sound good but yeah we gotta keep our eye out for a gun Say she's probably upstairs. Furious. Let's go on the other side here. It's probably like right over there, I think. And that might be the reason why there's so many uh, zombies in there. I'll say put him down. Oh, oh, oh. He's a little rusty. Uh, get the shotgun now. My god. Honestly, there must be something. I don't know if it's on the train or what, but really an issue with the game. But let's go see. Is there a gun in here? Yes, there is. Look at that. With some cash. We don't need that, but let us reload. The last weapon is a pump action shotgun in the police office. Last time we cleared out the police office, uh, the update, you know pretty much didn't even have these weapons in it and that's why it was empty but now there is a shotgun waiting to be discovered and I think we're just gonna you know keep y'all here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fight the horde of zombies with this new good-looking pistol that we got in fact what we could probably do is put it away but I'll do that later I'll say we're gonna have plenty of room here well actually you know what We'll, we'll play it smart here. We'll put this away. Honestly, I haven't really built a lot since the crash, but I do have a little storage here. And what we'll do is we'll put the pistol in there. We'll put the, the scrap hammer in there. Hold on to a grenade just in case because we're going to be clearing out the police office again. And let's see what type of trouble we can get into today. I said we'll just kind of run over here. See how the damage is on this gun, actually. For a minute here. Hold on, tab. Won't tell me an M9. Well, that's weird. It actually doesn't tell me the damage. Okay. Maybe they got they removed that in the update, too? While I miss? Because I remember seeing it in the beginning where it had like a... Uh, it told you how much damage the weapon did. But it kind of looks like it does practically about the same amount. But it just has a, um, you know, instead of holding only 8, it can hold 10. So when you miss, you know, it really works out. We'll just put that in the stamina. 
We'll keep on pushing here. We need to wait around. I do hear somebody behind me. Oh, yeah, look at that runner. I'll say, luckily they have less HP than normal zombies. I'll say, we don't need to stand around here. The place that we're going to want to clear out is the police office. And not because we can't, you know, avoid them all, but because they make a lot of noise when they're breaking through the doors. And we can actually see how well this uh, pistol does against uh, police officers. I'll say it's not doing really well for me because I keep on missing, but you know what? It'll be all right. I'll say now time for the Olympic run here. We actually have soda, I think. Just drink that. That'll help us out. I'll say because it's only going to take us like two or three minutes to get to the police station. And this video, I've cut so much out already. So this is actually probably only going to be like a 10, 15 minute video. So we'll just leave in the dash. Let's see, can we hit that guy? Wow, that's a, that's a far shot. Ooh, headshot. Okay, oh, come on now. Perfect, look at that. Good range, though, I gotta say that. And you know what, it is, it's pretty easy to find, too, so when the durability gets low, you can just come back and go through the train station and pretty much get you a new gun. Without any issues, really. Okay, we'll leave these zombies alone. They're just normal. We don't have to really worry about them. These guys can just kind of chill. That guy apparently didn't even see us when we were running past him. And let's see here. What do we got? Okay, we got a barrel that we can use. You know what? Actually, it might be, it might be smart to take it with us. Oh, apparently you can't run, though. Oh, yep, of course he would see us, but I think there's a um, police officer in here, so we can use it. Let's see, just chunk it at him. Let's say roll. I'll say stay far away from it. I'll say it will. Its blast radius is uh, crazy. Probably more realistic, actually. You know, because usually there's like a pushback or whatnot. But okay, now wrong door put him down let's say try to shoot him right underneath the chin oh god I gotta reload I gotta pick up a massive brick he's down oh my more than usual use the sawed off shotgun okay someone did hear us oh look at this bad boy coming in Let's see, get out of here with that shit. Let's kind of run over here. Somebody's going to fit in here. Uh, it's because he's stuck in the, the room ne right next to the garage. Is there another guy chilling in here? He must be upstairs. Okay, we'll go with him. Okay, and then there's probably someone chilling at the front door. Let's put him out. Oh, look at him. He heard me from far away. I'll <laughs> say, get out of here. Do not want anything that you're selling. Okay, let's see if we can get lucky. Can we get shot right underneath his helmet? Oh, we did, but didn't kill him. I'll say, I heard someone sneaking up behind me. Takes about two good shots to put him down. Well, I guess it depends. Like, I guess if you can get the um, shotgun spray to kind of get him in the eye, it might be better than one shot. I'm glad that you didn't get damaged there. Let's try to put him down. Ooh, missed. And look, you can already hear him starting to break out of there rooms and whatnot. I'll say that's the only problem is the, the loud banging when you got like 50 zombies trying to break out of their rooms. And you got you can hear from far away. We'll let him be. 
I want to say our goal is to get the pump action shotgun here. Thank God. Whoa. You just magically appeared, run through. Yep, yep. I mean, that guy just like glitched through the, uh, the damn thing there. The bench. Let's put it in there. Okay, everyone's coming for me. Apparently, these are fake, they don't exist. 35, we're a little hurt here. Well, of course, I would hit his helmet. Let's use some painkillers to kind of help us out. We'll let these people be. What we want to do is just clear out the hallway. Honestly, we'll come back and deal with it. I think it's on the next floor. We'll get the shotgun. I think it's in this door. So painkillers, there's the shotgun. Now, like I said earlier, the last time we cleared out the prison, which was like I think the video before this, we actually, you know, the shotgun didn't exist pretty much. Like we're still kind of looking for a uh, rifle, which still hasn't been uh, added to the game, unfortunately. Pump action is a way better weapon, I will admit. Like, having to reload after every two shots can really do a no. Come on, you get your right shield. I must say, go for the hit. Perfect. All the blood splatter. Let us put the uh, level up into health. Why not? Give our guy a little bit more HP so he can take a lot more of the damage. Okay, now let us end the video by clearing out the police station again. Oh, you took that like a champ. Oh, 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 oh. Hiding behind the door, you bastard. Okay, is anybody chilling in here? We have four shells, we should be fine. Open up the door, look at him in the eye, and put him down. What else do we got here? I think all the doors have been opened in here. So they're down below. Let us. So let's draw him out. Anybody chilling in here? Yeah, but you know what? You can stay. I don't want to have to deal with you at all. Okay, guy chilling in here. Oh, gotta reload. Oh, oh, oh. He's trying to surround me. Oh, the damn riot shield. I'll right? oh, say, so can I get a shot in on him? Reload. You don't notice me, zombie. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. Uh. Okay, we are, uh, we are out of the, uh, prison now, apparently. And I am stuck. Which is terrible. But you know what? We're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. What I'm probably going to do is, um, you know, when this video ends, I have to restart. Come back through here, get the machine gun and whatnot. Or machine gun, the improved pistol and the pump action. And then we'll uh, go from there. I hope you all enjoyed. And when we have more updates, I will play even more.